Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is 2021 and I thought I will show you guys my end of the year favorites from makeup to skincare to accessories to clothing to perfume to shoes i wanted to show you guys the entire thing you guys also see what i was loving in the year 2020 please keep on watching don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you liked this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my family here and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when i post up a new video so let's go okay so i'm gonna start off with skincare i am not the only one who has experienced mask acne and our face is now breaking out we're like whoa 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 like what are you doing so this is the product i'm gonna get and this is the product that's going to help me with my acne for my mask and it is the kate somerville eradicate daily foaming cleanser and this product literally was my saving grace. I'm so happy I got that product because that really helped. It really cleared up my skin. And the next skincare product that I was loving in 2020 was the Meraki Skincare brand, which is a black owned business, which launched this year. But these products were bomb. So the product that I was loving was the lip conditioner and the lip scrub. This two together. Oh my God. This lip scrub was perfect. I like to just exfoliate all that dead skin and take it off. And then the lip conditioner, which I need to go pick up another one. I put this on day, night when I was going to work underneath my mask. Let it just hydrate my lips and everything. And then, of course, the body scrub, which you guys heard me talk about already, that helped exfoliate my dead skin and soften my body skin. And then the best thing ever was the body butter so this is her new packaging and this is her old packaging and she is going to switch it over but this lotion was my life the shea butter one sis skin was loving it and you guys can see the consistency in that like it's such a good product i'm telling you guys you guys need to check out this brand because it is absolutely amazing and i have nothing but good things to say about it okay so let's move on to makeup okay so for makeup there were two primers i was loving in 2020 and you guys saw it was my milk hydro good primer and i love this primer it literally holds your makeup but it also hydrates your skin and then the other primer i picked up was the elf poreless putty primer um, but this was a su this is a super nice primer just to fill in the pores and give you just a smooth canvas. It doesn't control oil, doesn't claim to control oil, but it's just a nice like smoothing primer. Okay, so brows. There are two products for brows for me. Okay, which I'm shocked that I actually tried a new brow pencil because I swore that the Fenty Brow MVP would be the only brow pencil I will ever use. And I finished it. There's nothing in here. It's literally this much left, if you guys can see. And I use this brow pencil every freaking single day to when I had to stop so I get an email from Sephora saying that benefits having half off the brow products and I go pick up the benefit precisely my brow pencil in the shade 5 and I was like oh my god this this is completely done and this brow pencil is amazing like I think these are now like gonna be my staple brow pencils of course they're two different prices um but I really love these two like they give me such natural brows but it wasn't like very thick they just make my brows look different they make my brows look more defined even when I haven't done my brows yet and I've just been really loving brow pencils so for foundation they're all new to my collect so the first foundation is the rare beauty weightless foundation in the shade 520w foundation was just so beautiful it was so natural and it worked perfectly for like everyday wear it wasn't too heavy it didn't feel too glowy on my skin and i have combination skin i just really enjoyed this foundation and i was shocked but this foundation just wears so beautifully like my skin just looks so natural and like so skin like nothing but good things about this foundation so the second foundation everybody was talking about this foundation when it was really and that is the makeup forever reboot foundation and this is it and I got it in the shade R540 and oh my god 
it's skincare and foundation all in one once i picked it up i was wearing it every single day it literally looked like skin i would just do one pump it looked like my skin but slightly better like but one layer for me for this foundation was like so gorgeous it looks so beautiful on like i had nothing to complain about the last foundation is the juvia's place stick foundation which i did a review on and this foundation was the foundation I was wearing a lot because I would just use this to conceal underneath my eye anywhere I needed imperfections, blend it out, and my skin looked even but natural and then I would toss on my mask and I'd be out the door. Okay, so we're moving on to concealers. So I was really feeling concealers this year. The first concealer I was loving was the Rare Beauty um, Weightless Concealer and I actually have this concealer in two shades. I have it in 480 and 520. So 480 is my highlighting shade it's a medium coverage i think the advertises is medium full it's more of a medium coverage you can build it up but i'm happy with the coverage and then i got the shade 520 for just like my skin tone match concealer and this one had more of a natural like matte finish these concealers are just really really good so the next concealer i was loving was my fenty pro filter concealer in 450 which i had last year so i I just use it to like natural highlight i like that it's a medium coverage it's a it's a matte satin finish it doesn't crease as much I also use it to always clean up my eyebrows so now we're just gonna go into loose powder and i only have one loose powder in which this was my favorite loose powder of 2020 and that was the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch setting powder as you can see but that's the shade right there very smooth she has multiple different colors and it smells like vanilla <laughs> like, like rihanna did something with the scent it doesn't feel super heavy underneath my eye like this sets my under eye and make everything look smooth we'll go on to bronzer and i was only using two bronzers that was my fenty beauty mocha mommy bronzer i'm not even gonna talk about this because i literally had my favorites last year i got it last year and i was literally loving it i officially hit pan so the next bronzer that i had that i picked up this year was the morphe glam bronzer i got the shade leader because it's just slightly lighter than mocha mommy so i kind of have my light bronzer in an affordable edition those are my bronzers for blush i only had like I truly only had one blush picked up juvia's place africa blush in bella which is kind of like an orangey red shade and this is what i was using not only is the packaging on this gorgeous you literally have to do a light tap into this blush or you're gonna go blush heavy like it's no joke about how pigmented this blush is bella had to hands down be like my blush of 2020 okay so for contour you guys saw me use multiple items but the huda beauty tantor contour bronzer cream i don't even know what kind of like crack is in this shit first of all it's as deep as my uma beauty one but this is such a pigmented contour bronzer i wouldn't use this more to bronze my face more than anything it's it's more cool than um warm okay so eyeshadow the Huda Beauty Nude Rich Palette. Okay, this palette. Not only do I love the shades of this eyeshadow palette, this is such a neutral shade for my skin tone, and it gives me the deep, warm, and like you know, just neutral. Huda's matte eyeshadows, amazing. Her shimmers, eh, like. But this was my palette for 2020. My next palette, it's totally a cheat. Yo, 2020 best collab ever. I don't even know what the other collabs were, but the Rob beauty christie collab was like the best thing not only is the packaging beautiful the shadows are to die okay so i lost the audio for this clip so just ignore my mouth moving and just listen to what i'm saying i'm just going to basically talk about the products that i'm going to be showing but yeah okay so as i was saying previous this palette is one of the best palettes i've like seen in 2020 i don't know about the other palettes that came out but this palette is just amazing. It's an amazing collab that Rob Beauty Christy did with ColourPop. And it's just a, such a beautiful palette. Beautiful tones. It's pigmented. It blends out with ease. Like, there was no, like, patchiness when I was blending it out. Like, it was just a really good palette. So, overall, this palette is literally the best palette of 2020. 
hands down okay so now we're gonna move on to highlighters so for 2020 honestly i feel like i didn't really play with too much highlighter i did use two highlighters one was a cream and then one was just a regular loose powder which i'm shocked because i usually don't do like loose powder I'm more of a pressed powder person but yeah these highlighters were like really good the first highlighter is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blush. And you're wondering why do you have a blush in the collection? Because Fuego Flush, as you guys can see here, is an orange blush that has some gold particles in it. But it doesn't really show pigmenta uh, pigmentation. So I use it as a highlighter just because I didn't understand how this was going to show up as a blush on my skin. So on the days where I felt like doing you know, no makeup, I would just take some and tap it on the high points of my cheeks because that was the best way for me to use this product. And yeah. Okay, so the next highlighter is the Juvia's Place, the Royalty 2 highlighter and it's a loose highlighter and i'm actually shocked that i love it so much because i was eyeing it for a good minute on the website and i was debating it and so this is how the packaging looks like and that's how inside looks like it's like, like a bronze um kind of color because so much of the color comes out i literally dip my brush into the cap because i'm not trying to have it so um pigmented it is the highlighter i'm wearing in the video right now and it's such a blinding highlight that you actually have to be careful how much you apply or it's going to be an overkill so yeah okay so the mascara of the year for me which you guys have seen in every single video i have posted is the maybelline's lash sensational full fan effect mascara and i don't know why this was the only mascara i was using i, I was using different mascaras but as you guys can see from the wand it's like the perfect um wand to help like lift all your lashes especially if you have short lashes but i really don't know why i was only using this mascara for the entire year because there was other mascaras i did use other mascaras but this one was my always my go-to i usually don't complain about um drugstore mascaras because i always go for them but this mascara gave me length and i have such volume already having short lashes so i was like i don't need no any more volume i just need mostly length and this mascara gave that to me okay so for lashes of 2020 i discovered one brand and that is my lash brand from now on and that is the ava beauty lashes these lashes are the most beautiful lashes i've ever seen i have it in airy and aventura and i'm wearing um aventura right now in the video but these lashes i am not someone who really does like long wispy lashes that are like almost to the brows but something about this brand and how their lashes look was giving me a vibe and i was loving it it looks so natural on the eye it was easy to apply and it just looks so good like i literally have i literally found my new lash brand like this is where i'm always going to get my lashes now because i love it so much okay so let's move on to lips so 2020 was the year of nudes for me period okay so there were two lipsticks that i was using all the time and it was the morphe matte boo and the morphe matte in honey those are the two lipsticks that was always on deck for me no matter what so you can see that one is boo and then the other one is honey and some swatches will be coming up for you guys to see as well these lipsticks are creamy and not too matte on the lips so for glosses it was all about new gloss for me but like not to share so the first gloss was the morphe chill gloss which i used all the time on top of a nice nude lip but my fancy glosses those are staple okay i had it in the fenty glow and hot chocolate so hot chocolate has more of a brown undertone than fancy glows more of a pink undertone but yeah, those, these glosses were so nice on the lips to give you a nice of pop just to pop on lip liner. And so for the lip liner, I had two brown lip liners that I was using. They're literally the same shade, which is Morphe Transetter and MAC Chestnut. They're just brown lip liners, nothing really special. I don't even know why I put them in there, but yeah. I think the Morphe one is just a hair darker, but they do the same job. Creamy, not too waxy on the lips. Really, really good. 
Okay, so we're gonna move on to fashion pieces because I swear in 2020 I was doing a lot of shopping. Um, not only loungewear, but like pieces to go out. Like I was going places, but while we were in lockdown, I discovered a few jewelry brands here in Canada. Um, on Etsy, so I started buying all my jewelry off Etsy. I got a few things. So the first thing I got was these earrings I have on. Um, both of them actually I got this one the nice chunky ones from a Etsy site Annie Sophia she is based in Calgary and once I got these earrings I was like dude and I put them on I was like these earrings are like the best thing ever they're like solid they're heavy but not too heavy and then the my earrings on my second piercing are from a company that's based in Montreal I can't see the name name will be on the screen here um but her name is Jen and I've gotten the earrings and a necklace from her and this necklace I'm also wearing is from Annie Sophia it's the uh, like I don't know the exact name but love this this necklace it's like the perfect gold chain and then the other necklace I freaking love is I can't remember the name of this company but it's my name necklace you guys can see here and I got a name necklace because I feel like my name everybody always f's up my name anyway so a name necklace should have been an investment for me like grade nine when I really think about it but it's okay and then the last jewelry piece I got was this ring and I got this ring off of Etsy as well I'm the same person which I got the earrings from and this is just a simple gold band it's supposed to be a dupe of the Cartier love ring and it's super simple but those are like all my jewelry pieces I was loving so we are gonna go on to handbags there are two bags I bought in 2020. So the first bag I bought was the Le Champ, um large bag. So I bought this bag because I wanted a new work bag and I also felt like I needed just a nice bag that was purposely made for like travel and work. And this bag does it. And that's how the inside looks like. Yes, that is like one of the main bags. Oh lord. The other bag that I picked up was the Louis Vuitton multi pochette bag. So I picked up this bag here and I got it in the khaki green stri um, strap and it's just the perfect bag to travel with. I can take the smallest bag or the biggest bag and take this gold chain and kind of make it just a simple saddle bag underneath which is great. So this bag has multi-purpose uses. So that is only two like bags I bought. So the clothes portion. Okay so I picked up a few things. I'm gonna talk about my jeans first because I have been loving mom jeans and the curvy high-rise jeggings pair. so the first pair are these ones you guys can see They're like super ripped and then i have this light blue pair so this is the wash blue pair and then the other pair was the curvy high-rise jeggings but these ones are ripped and this is medium destroy if i'm not mistaken the curvy one has a different band guys can see that and then these ones also have rips in it and then the ends are frayed and i love all those three jeans like those are the three jeans i always have in rotation so those are the three pairs of jeans i was loving 2020 and then the other fashion piece i got into 2020 was this jackets so I have this twill one here and then I have two more. So I got this one from H&M, but I will show you guys a full version of this. But if there was something about the fact that it was oversized, I could open it. It gave me kind of like a 90s kind of vibe to it and I could still make it look cute and I could still be comfortable. It's a really good fall piece. So I also grabbed another one from H&M and it is this one right here. And this one is just more of a heavier material. It's more of an oatmeal color. And it just gives me like menswear vibes. I feel like now with my hair short, it's gonna give me a different vibe. Moving on to the jackets. And I got this one from American Eagle. And so this one's an actual jacket. Like it's lined with like a Sherpa in here. And then it's it has is lined. And then the Sherpa is right in the middle. But the tones of it is so so freaking nice right? and i like that it has like the pockets in the front this one is like perfect this is definitely more 
fall vibes and it just it's so nice and the color is so pretty and then the other jacket i picked up a leather jacket and i got my leather jacket from h&m and it's just a super nice biker leather jacket it has the lapels right here it doesn't have like the belt here but it has like the buckles back um the zipper detail on the sleeves and i freaking love this jacket it's literally like the best thing like once i i finally got that leather jacket and i put it on and i was like i finally finally have a leather jacket it only took me a few years i wore it all of fall like that was my fall jacket and the last jacket i got the super pepper okay and i got it in long got it in black worry worn it when it's snowing so i'm good it keeps me warm that is such a good jacket it's a really good winter jacket honestly some people say it's not warm but it's actually warm that's the reason why i got the longer length because i just feel like for me because i'm like tall just a longer length is better right those are all like clothing pieces are done and the last bit i have is just shoes great both sneakers the first one you guys already saw is my air forces so um but my air forces has been my shoe i've been wearing my air forces with everything to a point where i was like i need not to wear it but yeah the second pair i have only reason why i have this shoe is because of my friend daniela okay daniela literally had it on her feet and i literally wanted to go buy it that is my puma rsx sneakers okay these sneakers i've worn out the shoe it's so freaking comfortable and it's so nice like i don't even understand like i don't understand why i was just figuring this out this year but yeah those shoes are just so comfortable and the last favorite of 2020 is a perfume favorite and that would be my seven virtues vanilla woods this perfume smells so good scent was my fall winter scent like this is the scent i've been wearing all fall all winter until march until i have to find my spring scent but it's literally my favorite favorite perfume i totally recommend you guys checking seven virtues out but yeah that is the end of my favorites of 2020 hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye